Merry Christmas and welcome to update 2 on Tropical Depression 35W to the east of the Philippines right now. 30 miles an hour, 1,002 millibars as of this time we're recording 7.2 degrees north and 135.8 degrees east. It's actually moved a little bit south and east since uh, six hours ago. It's pretty much stalled out right now. Very disorganized storm. Uh, because of that, only stage one on the CDTS scale. Minimal damage would be expected if this thing were to breeze through the islands right now. But intensification of this system is anticipated as it gets its act together in the future. 835 miles from Calbayog, 842 from Cebu City, and 1,127 miles from the capital of Manila. Uh, slow movement expected, but that's going to pick up, and later in the week as this storm is going to make landfall in the Philippines. Right now, too weak for any warnings to be in effect too far out as well. Uh, almost four days, three to four days out from actually making impact. It's not really supposed to get there until Friday or the early weekend right now. Very weak storm. Uh, expected to potentially remain like that for a few days at least. Here's from the model's GFS run. You can see the storm in the very right bottom right hand side to start. Kind of gets this weird rotation movement up to the north and then loops back to the west. Very disorganized broad system. By the time we get into Thursday and Friday, the storm's going to be approaching. You see this run of the GFS brings it over uh, parts of the Philippines late Friday into Saturday local time. Uh, even impact in Manila, they do expect this to be a broad system. Uh, by the start of next week, it's going to be pulling out of the area. Sea surface temperatures where the storm is right now very warm, 27s and 28s. Uh, if you go just south and east of the storm as well, you're going to find 29s and 30s as well. Not as warm as you'd see in this area. Peak season September, July, August, but still definitely warm enough for conducive development. The main thing holding this back right now is definitely wind shear. Uh, another look at the GFS, you can see it shows a very weak storm initially in terms of wind speed, weakening initially, and then this broad system starts to get its act together as it heads closer to impact with the Philippines. See, as you enter Friday, intensification potentially rapid offshore. Uh, this run of the GFS wants it to become a Category 1 storm before impacting the Philippines and rolls up uh, northwest through the country, through the archipelago. Uh, most models do not show it reaching that intensity though at this time period. Uh, modern tropical storm at best is what they're showing. Chance of tropical storm force winds though, Cabellog 70%, Cebu City 65, Manila 20 right now, Roxa City 40, and Lutuan City 10%. These things are all subjected to change with the broad nature of the storm. Uh, the track isn't certain at all. We'll take a look at some of the models right now. They're pretty unified, but this can change. Slow movement at first, anticipated by all of these right now. And then as we get towards day three or so, you're gonna start seeing some more movement. Notice that broad arc almost that some of the models show, uh, a kind of counterclockwise arc that it makes before heading on a more westward trajectory towards the central Philippines. Uh, something to note, the system is very disorganized right now. You can see that from the satellite imagery, and that's gonna be contributing to its ease to be flowed around by any move steering currents. Satellite imagery right now, you wouldn't even be able to tell this is a tropical depression if you didn't know it had a closed circulation according to the JTWC. Extremely disorganized system right now, not impressive at all. Shear is ripping it apart at the moment. Sea surface temperatures and moisture in the air is more than conducive enough for development, but shear is shredding this thing to pieces. It is expected to intensify though in the coming days. We'll keep you updated. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website, force13.com, under service for you. Uh, you can also check us out on YouTube. If you're wa watching this all there already, you can subscribe as well. We're also on Facebook, our second largest platform, Force 13, all in text to find us there. And we're on Twitter, it's at Force 13 to follow us on that platform. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. Patronage helps the project invest back into itself and become even better. You can find more about all the benefits with the link in the description, patreon.com forward slash force13. And thank you to our current patrons. You can also join chat servers of ours on Discord. You can use the link in the description or message fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord.